All right, so I'm going to be going over 12401 team round number nine. So the problem reads as follows. A kite is inscribed in a 6 by 12 rectangle, each of whose sides contains at least one vertex of the kite. Given that the kite's diagonals are horizontal and vertical, compute the sum of all possible integer perimeters of the kite. Okay, so the kite's um, diagonals being horizontal and vertical just means that um, our lines of symmetry are going to be here. So there are two cases to consider. One is that the sides here is x 12 minus x, which will then we can use that to find our sides of the kite. The other is if um, our points here are closer to the short end than the long end, uh, shorter to the short end than the long end. Okay, so let's go. So we'll just, we'll start with this one that says x and 12 minus x. Okay. So what does that mean? That just means that here our sides here will be three and three. And then we can then find um, what is going to be the length of our sides of the kite. So one of them is here and that's gonna be um, by Pythagorean theorem, the square root of 12 minus X squared plus three squared and then our perimeter will be equal to two times that plus, because this side is going to be equal, and then those sides are going to be equal. And then we'd have two times the square root of x squared plus three squared. Okay, cool. So we now have our perimeter of this, this particular version of the kite. And from there, we will see that by triangle inequality, this must be this, our sum must be at least two times six root five. The factor of two coming from the fact that our perimeter is twice this whole thing. Okay, so um, this number we can then just plug into our calculator and that's going to be something like around 26.8. Um, you can get a more exact answer from the calculator, but again, we only care about integer perimeters, so whatever. Okay, now we need to find an upper bound. So what are we gonna do? Well, we know that from the trivial inequality that each of these radicals here must be greater than or equal to zero. So that basically bind bounds our thing by x is between zero and 12, and by strictly between zero and 12, so basically our maximum is going to be um, two times the square root of zero squared plus three squared plus two times the square root of 12 squared plus three squared. And that is going to be equal to six plus six root 17, which is around plugging that into our calculator again, 30.7. So that gives us four possibilities that we have already, which are 27, 28, 29, and 30. Now we're not done yet. And we're not done because we also need to think about the other case. So let's clear this up and proceed. So our other case would be if our two equal, si equal sides are here and there. So then once again, let's say that this is x, this is gonna be six minus x, and then we have six and six because of our lines of symmetry. Okay, so this time our perimeter is going to be two times the square root of six squared plus x squared, plus two times our perimeter of six squared plus six minus x quantity squared. Okay, cool. So we'd end up with the same minimum perimeter as before over here, because that would just be if x is equal to three, which ends up with our same case that we had before, was just our x over there was six. However, we need to check to see if our maximum is going to be like what it was before, or if we end up having any more cases. 
So our maximum would end up happening when x is equal to zero or x is equal to six. That's just a degenerate kite or a triangle. And that's going to happen, give us a perimeter of two times the square root of six squared plus zero squared plus two times the square root of six squared plus six squared. And that is going to be, plugging that into our calculator, is 12 plus 12 root 2, which is around 29. Now, you may notice that 29 is actually less than 30.7. So that means that our four possibilities are still possibilities, and we haven't gained any more. So what's our final answer? Our final answer is going to be the sum of the 27, 28, 29, and 30, which is going to be equal to 57 times 2, and that is 114. So that is the final answer for team number 9. Thank you all. Hi, everybody. This is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.